Good day and welcome to the Woodland Realm campaign. We are on episode 22, 23 something. Anyhow, however many we have under our belt, come with me and I will guarantee you a lovely time as we simply drink some kukicha tea and enjoy Middle Earth for all its green splendor. And look at it all. So green, so lovely, so oh my god, there are orcs coming for us. But we're neutral to them, but they're coming for us. I can tell by their smug little faces. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, that cannot be trusted. And I don't think I can trust these guys either. I don't know why. Maybe something about the all black aesthetic and uh, maybe something about the great eye banner, you know, Sauron and all that. Maybe it's something about that. I don't know. But what I do know is that we will hold the line against whatever they send, whatever they do, whatever they try. Because that, yes, that is what I want. Um, because that's just how we're going to roll. And uh, regardless of anything else, we also have a lovely diplomat down here yes. who is learning the ropes by essentially just negotiating peace settlements with the great eye to our benefit. Oh, and hello there, Kamul the Easterling. Come in with Temple Knights, as of course he does. And a lovely big walloper of a mace. Hmm. Well, well. Yeah. And uh, here, Baralu. Uh, Balban Barion. Baralu. Uh, sits and he has been uh, keeping this place for a little bit. We have a blazeman skilled. Yeehoo! Meaning our troops are retrained and ready for dirty work. But it's not that much dirty work to be done anymore because you know what? We've finished off Dol Guldori in the north. That's pretty cool. And that means, Uzak, you're the last remnant of your nation and uh, I'm not going to allow you to live. So goodbye. Put an end to this, evil. this battle ought to be pretty straightforward. We have so many archers, they're coming out of our ears. And we'll be fighting folks that I haven't seen a proper line of credit in years. And so, their army, their resources, it's all spread thin. There's nothing left. The last capital of their realm has been taken, and there is nothing they can do to get it back. And so, the finances of war have taken their toll upon the Guldurian fellows coming at us over here. And now we will take our toll as well. <laughs> Shoot them all. Have you ever seen such a beautiful sight? Just pure arrow fire bliss. Okay, everybody, how are we looking? Okay, we've killed almost a, uh, a fifth of them. Yeah, almost a fifth. Hello, orc fighters. What are you doing here? And maulers. Aww. They're sending out all the troops that our cavalry can best deal with. How nice of them. Looks like our general has gotten some experience. Very, very nice. Okay, do something about the fighters all over there. Sentinels, what should you do? You, yeah, take on the soul swords. And the cavalry, just, yeah, keep on mauling the maulers. Yeah, it's not fun to be an orc today. <laughs> if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Indeed, my friend, indeed, we will smash the enemy. Look at him. He's already kind of smashed. Now we just need to make him wholly smashed. Not a, not that I mean to insinuate any holiness on uh, or sacredness on the part of these orcs. No. They deserve no such grace. 
No grace at all, in fact. Keep shooting the molars. You guys run into battle. Oh, yeah, they're already fleeing. Time for everybody to charge in and finish the battle. Once and for all. Once and for all. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Gladly. Those guys, can we get them? And no, no, you're not going to make that one, no. But you can make those ones. And anything that can give experience, well, that is welcome, isn't it? Oh, what's over here? Would you look at that? Some orc maulers running a field. I'm not sure it will give a final experience point, but you know, I mean, it's always nice to try. This yeah, is a okay. Clear victory. Not that much experience to be gained, but you know, one point per horseman, which is good. And then, um, Tawar Ayanur, yes. Woodland Scouts getting experience, the Sentinels getting experience. Oh, that's good. Um, do you also heal your troops? Yes, the Sentinels heal their troops. That's the most important thing, actually. I'm so happy about that. I could dance right in front of you. But the unfortunate thing is you can't see me. We've sacked an enemy camp, my friends. Ooh, exotic. Elves. And then we go back. Yes, Moratara gains like a monster. And, um, perhaps we should also upgrade that town, actually. Maybe that's what we should do. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't want to risk... Oh, nah, that's putting it a little bit harshly, actually. Don't want to risk, you know. Makes it seem like it would be terrible. But I would prefer being above 33% culture, of our elven kind at least, once the stables are finished so that we can immediately retrain our cavalry and move them on to pastures new. Um, all right. Oh, what else? Well, so far that's pretty good. And then we have some troops over here, don't we? Yeah, but we'll have to wait until next turn. Yeah, that'll have to wait. But that's okay. We can wait. We can wait. Hello, Angmar. How are you doing? And where are you going? And why are you going there? Oh, that's a bit weird, but, um, yeah. And then perhaps we'll be attacked at bar el azad Come and get me, you coward. Come and get me, you coward. Uh, au contraire, my friend, it is you who shall come get me. Um, Mount Golas. Mm, do you need culture? Maybe a bit. But what you need are training facilities above all. Um, uh, Taurion. Where will you have the greatest use? Uh, maybe just stick them in there. That's okay. We'll need to convert it a little bit more before long anyhow. Regulus is heading down toward Avonlank, where a lovely army awaits him. And then... It's time to play. Um. My Lord. Do we have a diplomat anywhere near Lothlorien? Just, you know, asking for a friend. It's not that we have any ill intentions, of course, but... We would like to purchase Kaz Galadon, but I don't think they'll let us. That's the problem. It's their capital, and they're not going to let us take that. So, what can we do instead? Well... So far, we'll just have to settle for bleeding Sauron's coffers dry. Another turn, please. 
It would appear that we are under attack. Mordor has attacked us in the south. Dane's Hall has been attacked and now we shall also defend ourselves at Bar Khelasad. And um not to put too fine a point on but find a point on it, but there's also something else happening. Because you see the Lothlorian elves have tried to bribe me. That is the only explanation I can give for what I saw transpire on the end turn. Of course, you didn't see that, because it was sort of cut out of the video, but it happened. And we shall not take such insolence lying down. No. As a matter of fact, I am standing up. So, there's that. But, uh, okay. For now, we'll have to defend Bar Khalasad. It is the way. It is the way. Okay. Um, we don't have any troops with stake deployment facility, but we do have pretty good ground troops overall, so... What is coming at us on the walls? Okay. Uh-huh. Right. Well, that makes me think that we should definitely have Axe Guard up here because they will slice through their two-handed swordmen without too much issue. And those swordmen will be deployed on the walls because we don't have towers that can take down that siege tower over there. That's uh, just a sad truth we shall have to deal with. Hmm, then we can put... Yeah, we can put the bow guard up here. We can put scouts... Yes, yeah, put scouts over there. That's good. Horse archers there, that's fine. Don't shoot anyone just yet. Elder Council. You know what? I'm going to put you guys on the walls to deal with the axemen that are coming right at you. Coming at you like a chemical spill. You know, no, no, but you two in the two, yeah, you two are in the team, and then, um, I mean, look at these fellas, come this way, oh, it would be nice to have a Hinodawa team at, at this place, but we're just going to have to do without it, so that's it for you guys, we're ready to face you. Angmar! I have Kukicha tea in my cup. So come, come, come on. And feel the slice of heaven I have prepared for you. Roar! Oh. Yeah, that takes a little pep out of their step, doesn't it? Okie dokie. Good job, Elder Council, so far. I think you can take the rest in melee, that should be alright. You can focus on the savages, dear scouts, and bow guard. Mm. What do we want you to focus on? What do we want you to shoot? Mm. Maybe just, yeah, sa savages, I guess, maybe. Mm. Or maybe we should just hold your fire a little bit until the enemy, the enemy gets inside. And maybe we should actually... ...fodder the enemy a little bit. With our cheaper units. And then... ...we can follow up with the slightly better troops. I think that will make good sense. The Elder Council, they <laughs> made mincemeat out of their foes. We'll have to see. Maybe they can come in handy later on. Because sometimes the enemy likes to go up here and uh, having these Elder Council ready to take the whatever people come up would be um, pretty nice. Alright, in they go. 
Bogard. There are some um, Iron Crown Halberdiers coming there. What do you say we knit them a nice little arrow in the head? The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense or all will be lost. Oh yes, I shall look to our defense. That's what I'm currently doing, you slightly snide arsehole. Yup, archers, do your thing. Oh, they're throwing things at us. Okay, then maybe we should actually just get down there and start uh, doing nasty things to them. Oh, no, maybe. No, 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 not that way. Not that way. No, no, not that way. That way, that way. My God. That was about to get embarrassing. Oh, the Bogard. It's a lovely little unit. Though the Halberdiers have been doing strikingly well. So we're going to set everything in against them. Oh! Some savages have come up and are defeating the Elder Council somehow. Okay. Well, that is less than desirable. Okay, now the savages flee though, so that's good. How are we doing over here? The warriors are shaking a bit by the fact that they've barely been able to kill any of the axe guard. Yeah, you see how it feels? It doesn't feel good, does it? It's getting hacked to pieces as soon as you enter. Hmm, nah, yeah. Alright, horse archers, yeah, keep on doing your thing. There's so many wogs there. They're not the problem though, it's the halberdiers that are the problem. Having shot a few of them before they entered the settlement might have been a good idea. Uh, we might just be about to break them. They seem to be wavering a bit. Hello there, Angmadam Infantry. Would you like an arrow to the face? Well, then you've come to the right place. The <laughs> yes, you do. Um, Bogard, would you please uh, do something there? The yeah, that's good. Let's pray it as such. Those longbows are looking awfully alive. Shall we change some of that? Yeah, I think we shall. And we have bombed the Radar Landsman into submission? Yes, we have. Good, good, good. Yeah, time for these archers to get down to ground level. Come on, my friends. Give those war raiders something to think about. While I sip my kukicha tea and cheer. From my helicopter perspective. Or is it a drone perspective these days? There are still some Elder Council left. Okay, let's preserve these guys as best we can. Horse Archers, let's uh, storm you out into the crowd and uh, get to work. <laughs> yeah, that does it. Push you and run them down. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. I got it. Um, what's going on here? 
<gasps> Ooh, we've got all the heavy guys over here. Well, that is a gold mine for our lovely, lovely riders. They would love to catch some of those. Nom 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 nom. Come on, get some more. Nom 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 nom. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Um, let's take these landsmen as well. Okay, we won't catch that many. But to be honest, there weren't that many left to be captured, so. We can be satisfied knowing that we have done all we can. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Yeah, it's pretty good. Remember this day. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. The council, the Bogard, 181, despite being only 53 men. 56 at start of battle. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. The Elder Council, healing a few, gaining experience, very nice, very good. Woodland Scouts, not gaining experience despite killing 269. But perhaps a lot of them were our own. <laughs> they are the least accurate arch archers we have and uh, a few shots to the back of the head. Mm, yeah, that would make the difference on uh, those friendly kills, as it were. Northern King's Gate Guard. Okay, decent numbers. X Guard, really good numbers. I mean, look at that. That is a steamrolling of their opposition. <laughs> uh, as expected. Well, Angmar, what shall we do with you? Oh, apparently you can't afford anything, so you're dead. I'm sorry. It wasn't supposed to be this way, but there you go. It's not named Barkella Happy, you know? The steward stands proud, and that's bad news for us, I suppose. Because it means he might not be standing much longer. Hello, my lord. Yes, my lord. Oh, hello, Witch King of Angmar. Hmm, okay. So, Camul or Witch King? Who shall I negotiate with? Ooh, or Shivas? Nah, nah, not Shivas. No, 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 no. Oh, let's say hello to Camul, our old friend. A pray shall hear you out, but do not expect much. Have I come to for Sauron's forgiveness? Hmm. Well. No. <laughs> I've come for Sauron's obedience. What do you say? A nice little trade. Yes, yeah, right. I, I, th I thought it was pretty good. Then we can do like this and that and ah, just like this. 2007. What a lovely year. Okay. So, the Lego gate stands in perpetuity. Is that what you want? War. Peace. And a new general. How nice. Come this way. Onward. At ease. Follow me. Because we can use Oteri on the handsome in Dantalad or so many places. Alright, and Runen. Get your thing, we'll get our building fix. Dines Halls. Oh, Arateris. Yes, yes, yes. I can only whisper because I'm so excited. Um, Agnori Ion. Do what you do. Build your port. Be happy. Bursautis. Um, yeah, similar stuff. Framsburg. Yes. You can also make use of a marksman's range. And mm, that sounds really good. Lego gate. Armorer. Yeah, hence the, the upgrades here. Very good. And um, what is next on the plate then? Yeah, stables, good. Marksman's range, army barracks, very good, very nice. Follow me. Elves. Come, 
my brothers. Come, dear Death on Lexilus. You have an army to reach. For the light. And uh, these guys Swiftly. hurry in Vigilant. and get your retraining. My lord. Onward. Swiftly. Form up. Conceal to Ammon Lank you go. To Ammon Lank you go. Go as far as anyone can know. To Ammon Lank you go. Hello, Legatash. I will only address you in battle. Oh my goodness. Those are not great troops. I understand why they didn't want to attack Gundabad with that. Ah. Barkar Asad. You need a little bit of relief at some point. Elven warriors. Yes, my lord. Hmm. But apparently it's going to be a while before you get it. Elven warriors. Onward. Elves. Your order. Mongolas. You're building. Bursakul. Oh yes. Lovely, lovely folks you got there. Speaking of lovely folks, we have a nice army here. Shame if it weren't put to use. So either we leave five units in charge of beating these five units. Seems like a reasonable ask. Or we completely annihilate them. Oh, yeah, okay, it's probably a good idea to annihilate them because they've got snow trolls in their mix, as well as pale Urix. So our lightly armed defenders would not stand that much of a chance. So, here we go. We're going to quickly save it, and then we're going to smash Gura. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. Now, behold the beauty of our army. Mm, let me put you guys out of number, so to speak. So, we have an enemy, my friends. We have an enemy. It's an enemy that shall be shot to cinders. Yes, you heard me right. We will shoot them to such an embarrassingly humongous degree that they will catch fire from all the friction of the arrows piercing their bodies. And then they shall surely find themselves in quite the pickle. Uh, team 3, move forward just a tiny bit. Let's get all of our heavy archers to take a look at those um, those snow trolls over there. Elder Cancel? Yeah, you, you do your thing as well. Oh! Haha! <laughs> if they can't decide who to aim for, that gives us extra time to aim at them. And look at the results. I think the results speak for themselves. <clears throat> Once there was a snow troll, now there are no more. Once there was a snow troll, now they know the score. Now we'll have every single archer Smash pale Rex till pearl Rex are no more And um, those archers, charge them down
Those payloads are being shot so many times that they can't even move properly. Okay, it, it's time to stop shooting. Chase everyone down. Chase everyone down. It's gonna be lovely when you chase everybody down. Everybody down. Everybody down. It's the perfect compliment to a nice cookie chatty, this one. Haha. <laughs> How many did we lose? Two? Three? Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Eight. You know what? I can live with eight. We healed one member of the Elder Council. <laughs> Most of these were de dead to our own hands, or dead by our own hands, killed by our own hand. I can speak decently, can I? <laughs> can I not? Oh dear. Well, this was just a warm-up. But it was a decent warm-up. We got to tackle some trolls. That's always nice. So, another step toward victory has been taken. And now, we go for Young Luke. Yes, take it for the elves. Oh, and Marauder Chief Snagog has moved out of town. And another ally is relatively deserted. Not completely, just relatively deserted. We will attack them with pleasure. More on that later. Um, for now, though. Have everybody moved to our satisfaction? I suppose they have. Yes, my lord. Should we get some of these guys to somewhere else? No, If when war erupts with Mordor again, we will want to push out and do nasty things. Mordor, are you chronically addicted to... Paying me settlement money. What is going on with you? Is everything alright back home? Are you sure you don't need a friend in these trying times? Well, we need a dance guild, that's for sure. The Hornburg has been besieged. Okay, okay, okay. And Imen of Fuin. Oh yes, archery range. I want that. I also want the Valiant Council Hall. And everything else we'll just take it after that. Um, the old stone. Getting all up in the business of making lovely archers. Hello there. Hmm. Come, my brother. For on way. You're handsome, apparently. Well, good for you! We're going to Dolgovar. Because Dolgon himself shall be uh, sent elsewhere. <laughs> yes, so you will be condemned to living the rest of your life in another person's shadow. Incidentally, that's apparently how everybody felt about you in high school. Because such is life for those afflicted with great beauty. Anyway, hmm, Vrakiaburg, hmm, I don't think an artist, artist studio should be the top thing on our list. Or maybe yes. It's fine to have that, so we can just get past the 75% mark, and then we'll just go straight into trading facilities and Hall of Culture, and those kind of lovely, lovely caboodles. What's a caboodle? I don't know. I don't know. Kill the Brin, you get stables, and um, mm, yeah, let's just take some cavalry with that. Will you have some cavalry with that, my lord? Yes, please, I will have some cavalry with that. Um, but on the way, yes, and then we have Kelleborn, also handsome. Well, come here with me, dear handsome fella. 
and Orthanian. Yes. Come this way. I want you in Bar Alu. So the Lego Gate is besieged, then Bar Kelasad is besieged. The Bar Kelasad is the one that we might actually worry about. Insofar as we are worried about any of them. Here's my thinking. Our forces here are battered a little. But most of them are still functionally intact. And it seems that we've taken the best that they have to offer because they're not coming with much else. So, here's what we're going to do. We will send our troops here to simply stand by here. And then they can quickly run in through one of the alternate gates as the battle commences and be in there to join their friends and uh, then <laughs> the Hinadaur will make themselves felt. They will just speed across the map and deliver their payload of doom. Speaking of payload of doom, hello Ents, come this way. Um, The ring bearer, Death on Lexilus himself, is making his way to Amun Lank. And these guys have made it. And they can be retrained. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I have even more lovely troops. Oh my goodness. We'll have a hard time choosing who shall go with the ring bearer. Oh, Hina Tower. Mm, mm, we do like those. Daugovar. Ah yes, after the Valiant Council Hall, we will also get to the finest archers of the realm in that particular location, and I cannot wait. Now, speaking you. of I cannot wait, it's part of me that says I can't wait to beat these guys on the head, but on the other hand, I can't wait to make peace with Sauron and earn more cash. Yes, my lord. It's a hard choice. I could of what course do both. Do you bring us there? But for now, I'll just stick to uh, making them slightly more poor. Oh yes, so much wisdom, so much sharing. You know, sharing is caring. Here in the Elven, Elvendom. All right, that's seventy-five hundred extra. How is the culture in Bar Alu? Mm, it's okay. Could be better though. But where are our spies? Follow me. Elves, scout the area. Hmm. Ah, yes, we have some in Gelebrin, right? One in Gelebrin. No. Lego Gate. Ah, yes, here's where they are. <laughs> this is where they are. 67% uh, Elven, so they're doing a good job in there. That cannot be denied. Molotar, get out on the uh, tower building trek. The tower building trek. Slightly less exciting than Star Trek, but I have to take our little victories wherever we can. I would fight for your people as if they were my own friend. Oh, we have a tower over here. Sort of. No, no, no. It's our port. Okay, it's our port. It's our port, everybody. Let's not be so optimistic on behalf of orcs that they suddenly turn sensible and start investing in actually strategically vital infrastructure. No. Of course they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that to us, would they? No. Hello, Yagluk. We meet again. Or maybe it's the first time. Either way, we're just going to um, completely splatter you across the field. Well, isn't this a lovely field? 
All missile troops, except those guys, just line up and shoot the enemy senseless. They might end up hiding up here, but... If so, we will have a stern talking to them. Indeed. Indeed. They hide up in the hills. Let's see if they come down. And if they don't, we'll just go and shoot them until they come down. Oh, it seems they're coming. Ah, how nice of them. Keep shooting the bastards. Keep shooting the orcs. They are orc bastards after all, and so you shouldn't keep them too long in your thoughts. Shooty, shooty, shooty. Oh, yes, did I say shooty? I guess I did. Shooty, shooty, shooty indeed. Um, right, let's get the other council to also uh, pull their weight, just a tiny bit. Only half the enemy force remains. Alright, run at them and uh, dismember some Black Shield warriors with your javelins, okay? Alright, and oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> okay, everybody just uh, stop what you're doing because uh, the rest would be humiliating to say the least. No, just um, let the cavalry capture them. This there we are. Very good, very good. Anyone gaining experience? Ah, oh, the horse archers, of course, of course. Otherwise, not really. Just training session, just plain old smooth sailing training. Elven King's Bogard doing well though. Goodbye, you buggers. Run back to your hovel. Shall we send another spy in there? <sighs> Probably not worth to try. Look at... I mean, the security stats of all these dudes is just making it impossible for him. So, we're just going to walk it. And see if there's anything else hiding around these parts. It would seem not to be so. Snagog just walks past Balin and all the dwarves in the realm. Ah, and he's now in a day's march of Rakiaburg. I mean... I'm gonna stick you. Just... Alright. 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 You want it. You're gonna get it. Um. <laughs> Mount Golas. Oh, you need some troops, don't you? Yeah, you do. But Legoland, you have troops coming, so you can send people into that fort over there, or you could even attack Ruil, and you would win, I'm sure. Lovely. And does anything else need to be done for now? Not really. We're good. Danger comes once again to Barkalasad. Erhain. Comes with Ballister. Okay, fair enough. Let him come, I say. Because we have our friends coming in to help us, and they have very lovely bows, let me tell you. Sweep them away. Archers, ready your horses. So, here we have an army. And we have friends coming in from the side. I, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be like this side, so they can just easily run in and doop, 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 come in. 
But even if they have to take a slight detour, it will be worth it to have them here. Now they come with the tower on this side. Okay. You know what? Yeah, I'm fine with keeping the bow guard there for dealing with some Angmarim infantry. That's not too big of a deal for them. Scouts, uh, you'll be over there as usual. Um, let's put the gate guard up here. I know, I know. We'll have the axe guard guard the gate. Mm -hmm. But or maybe we should actually have the gate guard and the axe guard together. Yes, that seems nice. Um, we'll put these on the on team wall. All right. <sighs> okay, they come in from this side. Which means they'll have to run in from here. Which means they're also a bit more likely to get attacked by their pernicious wargs. The good thing is, they're quick. At least the Hinadawa, they're really quick. They've got like 120, 115, 120% uh, movement speed. Which beast does. Oh, the Sentinels have 122. Okay. Is that the... Yeah, 114 for our infantry. 114 for those. 110 for those. But of course, I mean, in cavalry terms, that's pretty darn quick. Yeah. The inner tower and sentinels. Both really quick. Excellent. They'll be there about the same time. So. Get in this gate. And then just run through the place. And set up over there. Sentinels, I want you... Here and up, 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 up. Okay, this is an interesting situation. If they destroy this piece of wall, would we want to be on this side of it? No, no, we wouldn't. No, 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 no. no. That's a silly thought. Um, let's not do that. We'll put them over here. Come on, get over there. Do it. Hinadour. You must be going to... Is that... Ow! Yep. And the survival instincts of these fellas is just... I mean, it's, it's fascinating, isn't it? That Ballister crew really has done some bloody damage here. Actually, two Ballister crews. That's why they're doing it so quickly. Hmm. Anyway. You go over here, and then you will go... There. Yeah, that'll do. That'll be good. Bogard, get over there. Hopefully we'll heal them at least. Come on, come on, man, come on, man. Run off that ledge. Get over there, come on. You can, Ah, oh, you're still alive. Okay, that's good. At least he's still alive. <laughs> you're shooting at the part of the crew. Uh... Come on. You can't run anywhere. Ugh, okay. Um, now they're pointing themselves in this direction, I expect. So, let's get our Axeman down to the ground. <sighs> okay, get guard. Get over there. Yep, my there. Come over there. Hmm. 
Well, at least the enemy ballista assault has given us time. Time that we will use to deploy our finest. have fallen yeah they have fallen so what okay um yeah sweet Hina Darrell I know you're tired you've run across half the map but um you'll be able to rest a little bit soon enough Well, looking at this, we have a decent little perimeter. It's a bit weird that this guy's just running in place, but... That's what you'll have to deal with sometimes. Going for the towers now, or the gates, or what? Hmm. What are you shooting at? Oh! Okay, this wall upon which nobody stands. Okay. Widen the net a bit, my friends. The enemy are through the walls. Fight on. They must get no further. Well, on that we agree, my man. On that we do agree. Oh, now they go for the scouts. No, don't just stand in place. Okay. Good. Now we have targets to deal with. This is the, way. the enemy have the walls. To our defense or all will be lost. Okie dokie. Shoot at the raiders over there. Shoot at the guardians of condom. Woodland scouts, what shall you do? Shoot at the infantry. Seems almost certain. Hina Dower, shoot at that infantry there. Actually. Oh, there's a pikeman coming. So far, so good. This is all going according to the grand plan. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yeah, there's no stopping it now. The enemy will be thrashed. The Hinadawa will be instrumental. The enemy, the enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Oh. It's looking good. It's looking very, very good. Of course, we shouldn't celebrate too soon, but how about just celebrating soon? Oh, hello, North Guard, you bloody annoying people. Meet the axe guard of the elves. 
pick on someone your own size. Thank you. Okay, cavalry ready to go out and uh, hit the enemy hard for king country and a few other things. Smack it, smack. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Are they even shooting or are they just going in? Okay, they are shooting a few arrows. Okay. Fascinating. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Goodbye, Ballister. Goodbye, Walk Raiders. We'll lose a few on this, but I just want to see them dead. Excellent. What else do we have? Oh my god. I completely missed that one. Um, yeah. Uh, Sentinels, just set up over there and uh, do something. Because apparently we'll need to bring down these guys too. Send the scouts to deal with the Rudawa pikemen. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. <laughs> yeah, the infantry won't last that. The sentinels are pretty much as good as them in melee to begin with, and then add to that that they've been bombarded by the most deadly archer unit in the entire game. It is not an enviable position. And now they're all rounded up. As they should be. I mean, look at that. That's what a few Hinadar arrow arrows managed to do. Um. How are you doing? Oh, yep. Yeah. Pursuing those. Pursuing the pikes. Oh, and hello, Ruda Savages. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Let's charge them down and be rid of them. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. What else remains? Oh, there's this one archer over here. Shower him with arrows until he dies and cries. Ideally both. If we continue like this, we will smash the In whatever order you can manage. Okay. Woodland horse archers, just go and cut his head off. Come on. Use your lovely little knives. Because apparently nothing else will bloody do. Behold how our and he runs away. Runs. I guess it's I would too. To but what I wouldn't do is run straight into the arms of my enemy. That was a bit weird. And then there's that orc over there. Goodbye orc. 
utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Oh, look at that. Hinadour. 589. That's an insane amount of death. But they did it. What shall we do with the prisoners of war? Surely. They will accept it and send some more. We must defend these lands. To Mount Golas, apparently. But that's okay. We have troops up there. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. And we can attack Unazanar. Scatter them. Lay it to mm. ruins. Keep them off balance. Erendolin. Hmm. Upgrading. As has long been foretold. This lovely settlement will grow. But Mordor has kept the peace. At least for a turn. Dogovar. Get the finest archers in the realm, please. Ha ha ha. And um, some woodland sentinels. What on the way? You come this way. Prince Dogon. Go to Bursautis. Well, actually, no. We'll want you. Where do we want you? We want you. In the Bar Alu. Kind of area. Or maybe down to Lad. And been Syrian. You can journey this way. Stay alert. Toward the Lego Gate. Ah, oh, yes, and Legoland gets its favourite Arathilis. You guys can go into Legatash. Find some retraining, find some comforts. My lord. Ah yes, because you have the marksman's range now. So you can also train these guys. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, the militia garrison managed to finish at Mount Golas. This is great news. This means that it'll be virtually impregnable to this rabble. Good luck, friends. Good luck, I say. Camelas gets archer capability. And after a hall of music, we'll probably also gain the capability to train sentinels. Well, hall of music and the accompanying archery venue. Actually, I would like that quite a lot. So let's fast track that one. As a bonus, growth rate. Yay. And this place does need to uh, gain some people. Lego Doom. Give me all your archers. It's going to be lovely. Now we'll need to repair Bar Kalazad, but um, it's not so sad because after that we can build a um, practice range. We can demolish the Wish King's Hall, the Hillman Barracks, the War Camp to finance everything. It's lovely. It's quite good. <laughs> and we have a guard barracks here already. Yeah, so it's really the archers that we need to get in the fold, as it were. And they will be folded in, don't worry. These archers can go to Camelas. We c might anticipate an attack from those Angmodern bastards any minute. Though these lands 
appear relatively secure. Maybe the Dunedain are pulling their weight. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. More retraining at the Lego gate. And King Legolas here, comes ever closer. And more Ents. Yay! And these Ents can then be retrained once they get there. Probably. Probably. Rekiaburg is left alone. Snagog walks all the way back. But I'm not sure he will be able to get there in time. Because now Onazanar will fall. Just like that. So, King Bolgmook. What? Boldsmook. That's a convoluted name, even. naming even for orcish standards. Speaking of standards, not the greatest. I mean, they've got some decent units. The Black Shield units are decent, but. If decent's all you can do, then I'm afraid it's over for you. So this is the fortress of Anazanar. An old dwarven home. Dwarven home of old. And it will not be completely easy to take. It has towers. And those towers will murder. Look at that. Tower, 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 tower. Tower, tower, tower. No, oh, building. Okay, so it's only the front gate we need to worry about, really. Now, the problem is, the front gate is the only gate there is, so we'll have to just... brute force our way through that. Meaning... Dear melee troops, you will have to go in first. Um, dear archers, like scouts and sentinels, can you sort of deploy a barrage? Just to dissuade them from doing anything that we don't want them to do. And uh, cavalry, just yeah, see if you can do anything. So I would not be overly confident in their ability to do that. Okay. Let's see. So far, it would seem that our arrow bombardment is having some kind of a morale effect. What? Oh my god, are they charging out the gate? Okay, well, I'm not going to complain. Then, um... Everybody, just uh, move into sensible positions, I guess. Yeah, cast them back into the earth or something. It's gonna be great. Oh no, Woodland Scouts, no, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh, I'm trying to tell you to go to the wrong sides. Okay. Sorry guys, sorry guys. You can go this way, it's okay. Um, team 5, just, yeah, keep shooting the enemy. Okay, we've gotten them to come out. Actually, that's not too bad. It does mean we'll still be on the arrow fire from the towers, but... The beans is less of a grind once we get in. You guys. Keep shooting at the inside. It'll be just as well placed to do to shoot at those as anything else. Okay, sentinels. I don't want you in combat, to be honest. It is not on my wish list, so get over there.
There we are. Ah, oh, there's some archers over there making our life miserable. What happens if we shoot at them a little bit? There's a mountain guard over there. Deploy some javelins, please. Yes. Good progress. Good progress. You guys are shooting the archers. Is it having an effect? Nope. Well, one has died. Okay. I'll take my good news when I can get it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, apparently it's time for a slog now. Let's just push everything that can fight in melee inside those gates. Team 5, you're going to be moving up here. Take your time though. You guys, can you shoot those black shield archers way over there? Maybe if we put you in the right place you can. Just mow through them, okay? Yes, do the shield wall thing. Yes, that's the what I'm talking about. Excellent job. Okay. Now all these buggers are not going to give up for anything in the world. So we will have to play hard. We're gonna have a work cut up for us. Good news is Our enemy seems fine with what we're doing. They're not really doing much about it. We've lost a few elites. It's not too bad though. That's a bit of a massacre over there. Mm -hmm. We've captured the enemy's walls. All right then. Um, shall we get team two up here? So, here's the plan. You go there. You go there. You go there. Mhm. Mm Ready? Execute.
Elder Council, I want you to go over here. I don't want you to throw some javelins at the sweet boys over there. Yeah, you only warmed up. You're okay. The melee troops can rest a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Once they've cut off the head of that particular orc. Come on. Come on. Give him a go. No? No? You can't? No. Well, that's disappointing. So that means these towers will just stand there and shoot at us forever more because of one bloody orc that won't go home. Okay. Elves, you're just about over there. Good enough. Let's get team one in here. How are we doing on uh, this mountain guard unit? I think we've done enough to uh, take him out of melee and I think the cavalry can help. in our favor victory will be ours direct your fire direct your fire Archers of Mirkwood. shoot at everything watch the attack remind archers remind archers, archers. fill them with arrows Ready your what are you shooting at that one guy Really? Is he impermeable? <laughs> Nothing can hit him. Surely that cannot be. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay. Two archers left over there. How are we doing here? We're fighting in the entrance. Fighting everywhere possible. And there he goes. A worthy enemy, but no less if we continue. So that was King. Let's see if this guy runs away. Come on. No? Just... What is it with this guy? Come on! That is ridiculous. Okay. Um... King Bogsmus. Okay. Everybody come over here with your lovely javelins and do your thing. What, you can't get on this wall? Oh yes you can. Okay, good. Um Give him all you have. It's just a shooting gallery now. That's another general down. is 
very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, got a bit laggy there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody converge on the square and let it be known that we will take up residence there. Not these orcs. Who don't really care for the ambience of this wonderful place here. And when the axe god get going, they really get going. Hacked, slashed, and completely thrashed. Who was that? Lugorn. Oh, well done, I suppose. And uh, what do we have over here? Oh. Some raiders. Oh. Nothing more, nothing less. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory Overseeing the out. final defeat of their realm. With a thousand angry elves coming their way. Our men are in command of the castle. And then apparently there's just that guy. The Phantom Orc. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna let the timer run out on this one. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We've tried giving, giving him an execution-style death, but nothing phases him. He just stands there. So, yeah, here we stand. There he is. Do you see him? Right there. The last defender of Gozanar. Take a good look at him, if we can get you to... Yeah, there he is. Take a good look at him, everybody. This is the face of evil. And so here we are. Gundabad's leader is dead, and um, the last fortress is out. And so I hope you've had a good time with me here in Middle-earth today. Because the end of the episode has come our way. So be good to yourselves. Be kind to others. Legolas will get his army next episode. I will see you soon.